we got here in January and Coach Haynes had played with some folks here and played for some folks here that are very tied into the Toledo high school community. And so they knew of these Holly boys and they kept telling us there's two great players here that are going to walk on to a Mac school that don't have any scholarship offers. As the young guy on staff, I kind of got dispatched to, you know, hey, go to Toledo and go check out these two guys. We had our mindset that we were going to go Division One somewhere, uh, whether we had to walk on or, you know, someone offer us. It was exciting just to, you know, when Coach Needham finally came and said something, it was, it was very exciting, but it was a bittersweet moment. We had one scholarship available, and we decided we were going to go offer one of the Holly twins. You know, I was frustrated. I honestly was like, well, you know, if they're not going to offer me, then why would I go on an official visit? You know, I was kind of bitter towards it. And my dad's like, no, you just need to go and, uh, you know, hopefully something works out for you. We had somebody that we had offered who decided not to come to Kent State, and then it was a no-brainer. I mean, you had two scholarships and two guys that we really, really liked, and having them here on campus just saw how well they'd fit in with what we were trying to do. And that next week was signing week, so I got my offer probably as late as you could possibly get it. <laughs> You know, that all happened within the space of about three weeks. Heard about him, saw the film, went to see him, offered, visited, committed. You know, it'd be cool to go together, but then again, we weren't positive because we thought that it would be cool to play each other. We kind of got attention together, being brothers on the same team. And uh, I mean, I did get a little more attention because of the quarterback role, but he didn't care because he's not, we're both not the type of guys that need the attention to play. I'd visited with them to let them know that they were going to have an offer and um, that got to be interesting. They're unbelievably competitive and so you know you start off recruiting you're just trying to get to know them and just make conversation. I said so you know you guys are twins and everybody's telling me one's faster or the other's faster. Who's faster? I'm faster. I've always been faster but then he passed me up and it's hard for me to accept but uh he ran like a, a 4 4 5 40 and I ran like a 4 4 9 so he's got me beat but um, you know long distance wise I got him still. Oh long distance he he's got endurance it's like crazy I mean I'll, I'll do whatever I can to stick up with him but he'll beat me. How about the length of the field? Oh this, I'll kill him he's I mean he's uh I call him a Mack truck because he takes about 45 yards just to get up to speed. And they about got into a fist fight. I mean, it was recounting every 40 yard dash they've ever run. And, you know, Nick's saying, well, I overthrew you that one time because you're not fast enough. Who's the stronger of the two? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I say me because I'm smaller. I'm stronger. But, uh, I mean, the weights are different, but he probably is a little stronger than me. I just won't admit it. So then I thought, let's make this pleasant. You know, it's supposed to be fun to be recruiting. I don't want them thinking Kent State came in and picked a fight. So I said, okay, tell me about, you know, academics. What subjects do you guys like? Well, I apply myself more. I'm smarter. I just harder work myself. He thinks he's smarter, <laughs> but oh, I, I work harder. Nick has a 4.05 GPA and Nate has a 4.03. So then they get into it about, well, I took harder classes. Well, I helped you do your homework. I, I mean, you can't talk to them about anything without them getting competitive about it. So then they said, you know, coach, we heard you're here to talk to us about coming to Kent State. I said, yeah, we have one scholarship available and we're going to offer it to Nick. And right away, Nate goes, well, why aren't you offering me instead of Nick? I mean, they were just, you couldn't win, but you loved that about them, that they were at each other's throat and competitive as could be. I mean, we like to think we competed coming out of the womb. My mom, you know, God bless her because uh, she had both of us in there and we would always kick and fight, and uh, I always told him that, you know, I won. I've been winning my whole life. I won straight coming out of the womb because I was born first. I think I booted him out. I mean, I think I won for sure, but whatever. Last man standing, that's why the way I looked at it. There's no go-to. It's, it's everything. I mean, it really is down to, you know, grades, uh, any kind of sport that you can do who can eat the food the fastest. I mean, it's literally, it's anything. If my dad gives us chores, who can get it done faster and better? Uh, if we have to go split logs, who can split more logs? Who can chop the wood in half with one swing? Our guys in general are smart enough to know, don't get in the middle of it. 
but I try and go in the locker room, you know, before practice, check on my linebackers, make sure everybody's good, everybody's, and there's not a day that goes by that they're not at it about something. Did you do anything today with them? Not today, not, not yet today. It usually starts off as like just playing, but then it goes to, you know, something a little more serious. The last time we got into it serious, he dislocated my arm. He had just pulled out his pizza rolls. So he had his pizza or his pizza bites. He had his pizza bites in his hand and I pushed him and they fell on the ground and he stepped on one of them, which we just pulled out of the microwave. So it was hot. And uh, he ended up burning his foot and like our RA come was knocking on the door and wondering why he's yelling. And uh, we got to blame it on, uh, on the pizza roll. So that kind of ended the fight. And, he ended up having to clean the carpet up, but <laughs> I don't remember what the last fight was about. We just were screwing around, I guess. But it was interesting to see Coach Burrow's reaction, coaching the safeties, or Coach Gamble's reaction, coaching the wide receivers. Like, you know, these guys, they go 90 miles an hour every snap all the time. I said, yeah, that's, that's their MO. That's how they operate. I feel like if you put your mind in anything and you put your heart in everything, you can do whatever you want. And I mean, you don't have to be the biggest guy. You don't have to be the strongest guy, but if you put your heart into it, you can do whatever you want. And that's that's one thing that when we're together, you know, we're we're hard to beat just because we both want to win so badly that, you know, we might not be as skilled as somebody else at what we're doing, but we're going to give it everything we got. We don't like failure, we don't like losing, and especially being so close and competing all of our lives, I mean, it's made us so much better because you just push each other every time, and no matter what you're doing, whether it's just a friendly game of pig or a, you know, just passing in the you know, backyard or whatever, you do everything to the best of your ability because you don't want to lose. Other people will feed off that. Uh, we'll see that. I think in high school that's what they did. Um, saw that our will to win, how strong our will to win was, and then they fed off that, and I think that's why we are so successful. So we kind of want to bring that here, you know, to college with us and hopefully, uh, you know, become leaders of this team. My dad's like the guy that gets excited for the game about three days before the game. So, you know, he's just happy that we're going to keep playing, you know, football for at least four more years. Um, he's happy that we're, we're playing together because he can come see us both play at the same time versus, you know, having to split up half and half. Um, you know, he's, he's always there to support us. Um, so he's just, he's all excited and he's very proud. ready for us. Very proud dad, but. I would say the first day we came in and there was a bunch of stuff in our locker. I was like, they're giving me all this free stuff. And I was excited because I never really had something like that. And uh, that was probably my most favorite memory out of everything. Cause I was just kind of like, can't believe that we were here. That kind of is when it hit me like, I finally, I made my dream, I made my goal. I'm playing Division One football and I get to play with my brothers. I remember him and me getting uh, lunch in the hub. And we were sitting there at the table and as we were eating together, he looked at me and said, you know, I'm glad that you're here with me, that we can go and do this together. So he basically, which he, he won't admit it, but he did say that, uh, you know, that he, he didn't know if he could do that alone. Being a twin, you're never lonely. You always have somebody with you. You have your best friend right beside you, no matter what. So, I mean, at home, yeah, we do our own things, but when we really want to go have fun, you know, we're, we do it together. Nick Holly, 85, wide receiver. I'm Nathan Holly, number 18, strong safety.